In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a drum rescue. Uh, what that means is I'm going to do some drum editing in here, and I'm going to resample it using um, Reaper's Regate as well as Easy Drummer as my samples just because I happen to have it on this computer here. So uh, right now I'm editing the drums. You can listen to the beginning portion. Sounds, the drum sounds are really bad. The timing is getting better as I edit it. Um, so let me just keep editing this. A couple minutes long, this part. It's just the ending of a song, I'm not doing the entire song. Oops. And make sure this part is correct. I believe it is though. Alright. Some of these cymbal sounds are a little washy. Um, but the purpose of this video is more so for rescuing the drum beats. Okay, so now what I'm going to have to set up is MIDI sends using Regate to a uh, to a VSTI. So the VSTI that I'm going to use is Easy Drummer. And let me see what I got here. My docker over here is Easy Drummer, which is this one. This is asking me here is if I want to break it out into multiple tracks. Uh, for this purposes, I will not, but you probably will. You'll probably want to when you um, do this for yourself. So now I need to put gates on all these drums. So let's uh, let's get re gate on the kick drum and you play it. Now, we don't really care what the drum sounds like after, as we're gaining because we're just using it for a MIDI trigger. So let's solo it out and see if we can refine this down to uh, just opening for the, uh, for the bass. And I'll do that by uh, defining the area in which I want it to react. So this right here, we can say it only reacts to low frequencies. And let's see how this sounds uh, when I solo it out. still have some of the snare in there which we don't want so let's see if we can refine a little more all right that sounds like it's hitting every beat there and uh, let's do the same for the snare drum I'll just drag and drop this over and I'll just have to change the frequencies in which it responds so the snare drum will probably be uh, a little bit higher in the sound range. Let's hear how that sounds. And it's not going to touch the hi-hat. Um, I'm just going to move the hi-hat down here even though I usually like it above more. And let's do uh, toms. Actually, I don't think there's any toms in this area. Let me hear. Let me hear this track here. You 
Yeah, it sounds like there's no toms, which, uh, same thing with the toms. Maybe I'll fast forward to an area that has toms so you can hear what it will sound like. But let's get this uh, rolling here. Um, I'm just going to mute these toms for now since they don't have any decent sound on them. And move this hi-hat back up, Tom. So after we have these effects for the kick and snare, we're going to drag the I.O. button to our sampler. And we're going to turn the audio off. And we're going to turn the MIDI to all is fine. Do the same thing with the snare drum. Audio off to none. And now in the regate program, what we need to do is select or this here, send MIDI uh, on open close. And now you need to open up your sampling program with your keyboard and find out what the notes are that snare drum hits and kick drum hits. So press Alt B to open up this. And I believe the kick would be not that. The kick is C2, which is uh, number 36 on the keyboard. And snare is C38. Whoops. I'm sorry. C38. So 36 kicks, kick will be MIDI 36, and snare will be MIDI 38. That's what I need to know. So let's go. This is the snare drum, MIDI 38. And let's go to the kick drum, MIDI 36. And now let's, um, if you alt click on this IO button, it turns off the uh, audio sound. So you won't hear this sound with the sample. Uh, it's probably a good idea because at least for my sounds I have here, the recorded sounds pretty terrible. Uh, so you can either alt click and you'll see this little red dot come up or you can right click and uncheck parent folder send so it doesn't make any noise so whatever way you're more comfortable or you can click on IO and uncheck here but I prefer just to alt click so let's hear what this sounds like Okay, so that compared to that compared to So obviously it sounds a lot better. So you can hear that this this is a very this needs a lot of intensive work, which you just need to go through and refine your um your gates. That part there sounds okay, but when he starts to play, um, the performance gets worse and worse. So what you should do for drums like these is you should fully edit them out and then I'm just going to show you for this portion here what you can do on this this track here the uh, sample track so you can make this record the MIDI record output of the MIDI so now when we go ahead and record this portion here you'll see it has the kick and the snare parts and everything so you can roughly get your timing set up for here and for the triggers purposes and then record it the output of the MIDI track so making making all these drums so there's a you know tom parts and everything the only thing you're not really going to sample I mean you can try to experiment with it but the only thing you're not really going to sample is your hi-hat and your uh, your overheads but uh, the toms, the kick, the snare you can resample out and then then if you prefer you can go into do MIDI editing yeah they're pretty much right on with the 16th notes because I did it by hand but um you know it's 16th notes and then just play so 
So uh, that's another option. And the way you did that is after you get everything sent to your sampler, set your record output as MIDI, and then you just record and then mute your uh, the, the track, mute the tracks that you sampled out. This way, if you go in there and there's like a funky hit, um, you can just, you know, move it around and, it, and it'll be proper. You get like a flam type drum hit and you can't actually edit it properly even though they didn't mean to do that. But you can, after you resample it, you'll see that it has two different hits and you can move it so, so it's the correct note. But anyway, that is a quick view on doing some kind of drum rescue, resampling. Uh, those are intended to be drum editing. Um, I just forgot how terrible that this drum track was. That's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching Tutorials for Reaper. I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.